So just arrived from Roco and HO scale is the completely new model of the BR38. Um, this is in an era 4 West German livery. So you've got the computer number starting 038. So the model itself is driven from the tender. So this allows them to use quite a large motor with a heavy block around it to give it traction. Um, it also avoids having to squeeze the motor into the small boiler and then all the unbalanced loads off the valve gear. And we'll just get it running. It is a sound model, I just want to have a look at the running quality without sound. It sounds great, it can mask all sorts of things so... And what you see is a nice, quiet, smooth mechanism. So you've got LED lights. Um, let's have a look here. There are workshop lamps there. Uh, a cab light. And they have decorated the cabs, which is... Departure for Roco, they don't normally paint this area. And there are red tail lights in the tender. So I just wanted to check something. There is a coupling mount on the front. It's a small NEM363 wedge fitting. And it's the same on the back. So you find little couplers. There are um, two types of couplers in the lo with the loco. You've got the Roco coach couplings, and you've got these European standard hoop ones, and they just slide upwards into the fitment. You can see it there. They've got kinematics on both ends, so it will swing out on corners, keeping it fairly close coupled, and the, the fitments down here as well. So let's pop on the sound, it's factory fitted sound and they've used really nice speakers. There's quite a lot of depth from the high pitch to the, the low stuff. You've got coasting and power strokes on the cylinders. Curve screw there. Right, we'll bring it to a halt. There is apparently another sound set. So turn on function eight. So it's a, a light running sound set. You get a lot of exhaust. That's nice, we've got two completely different sounds with the same loco. I'll turn function 8 off again and we'll go back to the main running sound. So there's 25 functions. A whole lot of them are the general operating sounds of the logo. So the final thing to talk about is the smoke generator. So it takes two millilitres, which is quite a lot, 
I have found that you need to put a decent amount in, so one milliliter in it to get it to smoke properly. So it's quite a deep reservoir in there. And there we are, heating up nicely now. Smoke improves the hotter it gets. uses standard Soiter um, smoke fluid and you just inject it with a syringe down the chimney. You might find if there's no smoke coming out that you might have formed a bubble at the bottom so take the empty syringe and just um, use it to blow air down there to clear it. So there we are.